So today was an interesting day. Um, today, I was going to write about um, the role that men have in the fight against gender-based violence. And then I started to, to write, I think, the first couple of paragraphs. And I started to look at instances of violence um, against women where I can have a look at it. And then I started seeing these messages and tweets about the violence that broke out at the Global Citizen Festival yesterday. And a friend of mine, a colleague of mine actually told me that a friend of mine was there and that he tweeted about it. Um, and then I, I saw his Instagram and then we, we had a conversation about it a bit later and he said it was absolutely horrific. It was horrific. So I had to switch gears and I had to just talk about violence in general in South Africa and what happened at the Global Festival um, last night. And it, and it was disgusting. It's like, how, how did we get to a society where violence has become so normal? I wrote about how criminals have now, their occupation is about as average as lawyer, doctor, teacher. The level of expertise at which they executed the robbery and the violence and the stabbings. There's even mention of some rape, definitely attempted rape, but some actual completed rape outside of the, the concert venue. Where did we go as a society that these men believe that they can do that? What happened to the police that was there? What happened to the security guards that were there? The men were terrified, the, the men that attended the concerts. They, this guy was telling me how having women with him became a liability because women became easier targets. And having a woman next to you meant that you became a target. Violence has become such a normal part of our society that we don't even consider it a thing anymore. It just happens. But the descriptions of what happened yesterday, wow, <laughs> wow. I can't help but think, as a, as a mother to sons, where does that put me? What, what is my role in all of this? I never want to be one of those moms that have to sit in court and say, well, the thing is, you just don't understand. He was a misunderstood boy. He was, he didn't mean to do it. It just happened. What? There's something wrong with our society. There's something deeply, deeply disturbed when we think that there is some form of excuse for that behavior. Where did we go wrong? And what can we do now to end this? My friend told me the only thing, the only people who really got off unscathed with those who came into groups, he said that it didn't matter if you were a man or woman last night. You were a victim. You were being attacked. The only people that got through it were those that were in groups because the individuals, the criminals, didn't want to attack groups. And the groups didn't matter if there was X amount of men in the group or not. It was just the strength in numbers. And he said that perhaps that is the key to ending the violence, the strength in numbers. Perhaps we need to be coming together as a collective, men and women, and stopping this violence. And stopping it where it starts, not by the time they get to the attack mode. What do we as parents need to do to ensure that our little boys don't grow up to be these hardened criminals? It starts with us. We've got to stop it now.